Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Lens Island, shall we? Well, it's time to continue this amazing looking game. And what we're going to do is take the advice of a kind soul in the YouTube comments. And by the way, everyone, I really appreciate your your tips and advice as I learn this game. That if you want to make money, one of the best ways to do so is to sell flowers. Now, I have collected some flowers. In fact, if I go into my inventory and I look over here at seeds or fruit and farming... Um, I have roses, okay, and I have marigolds, and I even have some lavender. But I'm going to need people to move into the town, the florist, in fact, I'm going to need. And you do that by, at least as I understand it, building their dwellings. Now look, I didn't notice this, but I should pay attention. Remember how I couldn't jump over the bridge? I didn't know about the jump. The bridge was all messed up. The town is getting repaired and expanded. I thought the interior of the town, I didn't think about something like that, but, right, everything is changing. So let's look at the notice board, and this will put in a farmer and a pirate. So that means that potentially um, we could get a florist to move in if we're getting closer to a stat like that. Now, I don't know if that means they want to live in a house and then they'll open up shop uh, or exactly how that works, but let's do it. So I'll poke around over here. And I'm going to check out these empty home plots. Now, you can just push map and you can see where the people will move in um, with these mailboxes. At least until you discover them. So here's one, right? And somebody wants to move in. And they just need a bed and a building, right? So all I would need to do is to go into uh, build mode. And we need to build um, a platform and everything else to get the foundation for the house set in. The way I understand it, you have to start with a platform. Um, this is an island, so it makes sense, right? You can't. The water table is so high on the island that you cannot um, simply dig a basement foundation because uh, it'll fill with water. So you've got to use like raised platform. At least that's how I take it. And let's get some wood. So time to gather. And we've taken it down. All right. So we need wooden stone. Now we turned in a bunch there to the town. And that's no problem. Go ahead and get some stone right here. Look at that follow through. What form? Alright. And now we have 40 stone... Uh, I might need more fiber as well. Let me chop down this tree. Uh-oh, there are bees in the tree. I'm getting hit. The bees actually did more damage to me than pretty much anything else that I've seen. Alright, let's go ahead and eat uh, a pear. Ooh, the pear restores a good bit of health and... Um, a good bit of satiety. Now, you see here that there's like a log bridge, and I wonder if there's a hidden reason to go to this island. I'm going to check it out. I got some fiber, and it doesn't look like it, although it's a cool island just in the sense that there's so much um, fiber. Now, I'm going to drop down and break this barrel, and we got some berries. Okay, cool enough. Now, see, look at this fishing spot. If I had a fishing pole, that circle of fish right there would be amazing. Now, as far as I know, yeah, you can't make marks on the map yet. Um, but that would be a good place to mark, you know, just, just leave a trace. Hey, you can fish here. The fish are just swimming in a circle. 
bring your net. It's a party. All right. And I'm just going to get a little bit more fiber. Uh, we have 66 fiber. That should be well enough. And one more thing of wood. I will need cl um, clay if I want to build a cool roof for somebody. But it, I think you can just build the flat roof. The uh, specifications for this home, the demands are pretty low. So let's see. All right, push tab, and now we can build a foundation. And I'm in camera mode. Um, I'd like to actually move. Uh, let me get closer. The camera mode is great for building, um, but I'd, I'd like to be, um, yeah. I'd like to have a top-down view like this, and we'll just go... Um, now I don't know if, like, what the house means. That's on, is that an arrow that means anything, or does that mean, like, just, this is a home? Like, do I need to worry about that orientation? Okay. Um, and I can't build one here, but I don't know if that's because I'm standing there or not, Right. So let's see, what do they need? They just need, uh, they have a building now and a bed. I mean, I could just, what, build a, a bed with no walls and they'd be good? Let's see how that goes. It's a little embarrassing, but, um, no, you need to have a bed. Uh, okay, here it goes. Bed. Okay, and I'm just going to... Um, close this. And now what's going on? Uh, not built a bed. Well, I'd argue that a bed is not built. Looks like there's a bed right there. But maybe um, they do need walls. So, I'm out of wood. I gotta tell you, it's... Oh, okay, look. Um, we want Steph, the florist. You can change the villager who's gonna move in here. And she'll give us a good money. But then also, the fisherman um, will help us, you know, go fish. And we do need fishing, too, because I, uh, I'm i running low on things to eat. Like, just foraging berries is kind of brutal. So, you know... This all-fruit diet, it keeps the scurvy away, which is critical. But, um, it's not ideal otherwise. So, we're going to need some fish. We need protein in our diet, you know what I mean? Those omega-3s and 6s, just good stuff. You can see the difference, by the way, in my damage. At least I can. I don't know if that's just, like, me imagining it. But once we leveled it up, it feels like there's just more damage happening. Uh-huh. There it is. break. There it goes. Sometimes the tree just wants to hang on to life for that little extra bit. I don't know how much clay I have, but I probably need more. I respect pottery so much more after realizing that you need a pickaxe to gather the clay, like how much hard work that is. I guess in Medieval Dynasty you use a shovel, but either way, that's that's a lot of work. Alright, um, go over here, and let's get this going. So I'm just going to 
a home isn't a home without walls. Indeed, right? So... And I'm out of... Am I out of wood? No, I just can't... Can I not reach that? There you go. And... That wooden bay window is disgusting. I kind of want that in my house, but... Um, we can give it to the florist. Now, I think the tree... Is the tree blocking it or something? Like, I wonder why it is that I can't build right there, and I think it's going to tell me I can't chop in the village. Yeah, no harvesting in town, which I don't really want to harvest in town. I just, um, I was hoping to just build a wall right there. Uh, maybe if I rotate it around. No. It's just like, no thank you. I gotta tell you, that's a shame. And I don't understand it. But maybe if I just take care of everything else, then um, it won't matter. And we need... Um, I think I'm out. I don't have enough uh, clay. But we're looking good. Alright, let's build these steps out here. Okay, and then... Boy, if I could build this window right here... I wonder what it is that's, like, can't build a half wall. I can't build a large window. It's very surprising. Now, does this count yet? How are we doing? Yes. Okay, this is good enough. Like, what I have built here. Um, drag villager here. Oh, man, I feel terrible about this. But uh, let's get the fisherman, actually, first. Um, move in. And his shop becomes available. What's up, dude? Hello. Thank you for a place to stay. I appreciate it. You can find me at the docks once I finish moving in. Okay, buddy. So we want that. We also want the, uh, the lady to move in. Now I need to start heading home. Because it's getting to be nighttime. I want to finish his house, of course. It looks a little terrible. Luckily, he doesn't mind the fact that um, there's a wall missing from his home. Maybe there's a way, like, I'm not going to harvest the trees if those trees are indeed what is blocking the wall from being built. But I can just demolish them, like, you know, do architecture within the town space. Oh man, look at all this clay and stone. Get it. I need to do some more quests. I need to go to the dungeon as well because... Um, I'm just not... Like, I'm really not getting that much experience doing this. So much fun stuff to do. There we go. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. We got a bunch of clay. Where am I on the map? I'm here. My home is further down the beach. Sure. All right, let's get it. As always, we just need to load up on wood. And we'll get it in a moment. That's 30 wood. It's not bad. All right. Fantastic. Okay, let's sleep. It's too hard to see. Oh my god. I have to tell you, I just looked at my workbench. I was like, I wonder if you can do anything with this. And then I'm seeing, on top of everything else, look at this. I can um, make better tools. Like, what is this? An iron axe. 
just your standard axe. Now, my axe right now is just a makeshift hatchet. So this would do more damage. Oh, this is exciting. I can just make a fishing pole. Oh my goodness. What's this? I can make a sword. Um, this is what I... I'm going to definitely need this for the dungeon. Okay. Uh, so let's craft the sword. Because I'm not going to be able to survive without it. And um, I can make a torch. Which is fantastic. And I got experience for doing that. Look at that. I almost leveled up just making that. And I need some shards for, for these tools. Whoa. Okay, great. All right, let me go into my inventory. Now, I don't really know how to adjust, like, what my inventory is. Do you know what I mean? Like, where do I do that? Is it in my chest over here? Yeah, okay, so weapons. So maybe what I do is I um, just put this over here instead. And it has an ability. Ooh, it, it gets fiber way better. This is awesome. So I have a sword now. Check this out. All right, great. And we definitely want that axe. But we'll get the axe by going to the dungeon, I imagine. Um, because there'll be more iron and stuff for us there. Um, ooh, there's an ability. So what is this? It says Q. Oh, you have like a, a slash. And you can just use that spinning ability. That's great. All right. I have like a spinning slash. And it's you just push the Q button, if you're using the keyboard, I suppose, to do that. And then it has like a cooldown, but it takes no resources or anything. All right, I'm going to go ahead and need a pair... Now, how do I equip this torch? Right. Um, let me put the torch on my hotbar here. We're going to need more pockets because... Um, I'm not sure how to... manage this stuff any better than just using my chest. Maybe I can build one inside my house. Yeah, you, okay, cool. You can just push 5 and you can like hold the torch... So last night, that would have helped when it got all dark. All right, well, I feel like I want to move in the florist. I want to make money and all that stuff. But I think that going to the dungeon right now is uh, important. Because if I want to do any more harvesting, I'm going to want to have the improved tools. All right, fantastic. Unlock the door. Yes, we did it. And we're also super close to level 3. So let's see if we can get some experience in here and just bump our way up. The best resources are usually found in caves and the islands furthest from the town. Indeed. All right, ancient caves. Oh, man, this is cool. There's like an archaeological element. All right. Oh, and you have your utility box to change your loadout present in the cave itself. That's great. All right, so here's a... Oh, they want you to fix this bridge. Okay, let me just look around here, though. Is that money? Just take the money and the table. Come on, this is free stuff here. Okay, so it looks like these are just raw... No, this one has metal in it. Oh my god, yes, we want that. Okay, so I'm going to need to switch to this. I'm holding the torch, too, man. It's like I got a lightsaber. Oh, but if you hold the torch, you can't, um, you can't crit. Or at least I didn't see a way to do it. Okay, I got five metal shards, and that gives me five total. So I can at least upgrade, like, the axe or the pickaxe, but nothing else. I need, I think I need three for each one of those tools. I don't know if you can, like, check your recipe book on the go. It doesn't look like it. Um, let me check around here and see if there's anything else. What's this? Um, oh, these are just like mushrooms. Okay, yeah. Sure. And what does this do when I click on it? I need 40 wood to repair it. Okay, so I can't even actually proceed without that. And that's fine because I'm going to go make a better axe and just get some wood. 
No problem at all. Wow, I love the pace of the game. You know, I really enjoy how much I can upgrade my tools, I can upgrade the town, I can upgrade myself by, you know, exploring and stuff. So there's a lot of fun stuff to do. I'm going to put this torch away. I'm just going to run home. I know I need wood. Uh, but I'm going to wait. Uh, where am I? I am here. Yeah, I can just curl up easily and get to my house. Something I do want to investigate, though, is... Let's just see. It's... That's the wrong thing. Uh, here we go. Six. Eight, if I crit. Eight. Right. So I do... Six to eight. Uh-oh. <laughs> now, in Valheim, that would just stick up there like that and never come down until you uh, chop down the other stuff. But eventually... The good trees in Lens Island just explode for you. Alright, sweet. I kind of wish I could put a mini-map on the screen, you know, in the top right or something like that. Toggle it on and off if I wanted it. Can you do that? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. It's early access. Okay. Um, let's go here, and I want to make a better axe. Sweet. And I leveled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was another reason to do this. Um, this is a watering can that you can water your crops with. Oh, and I could build, like, garden beds. Wow, that's uh, pretty exciting. I could go fishing. Um, well, I definitely... I mean, if you know me... Every game that I play, I love, if it's RuneScape, if it's Harvest Moon, if it's Stardew Valley, whatever it is, I want to farm. So, um, I will make a watering can and close this up. And then we're going to go tab, and we're going to go to our character, and we have a skill point. So I could, um, you know, go here and give me 10% resource damage. I could go here and give myself damage. I could increase my shield block. I could um, increase my health pool. I did get the extra hotbar slot because that was important. Um, does this take two skill points? Is that what that number two means? Or does that mean it's just level two? Let me go look at this. So first of all, um, I got to change my axe. And go over here and give me this better axe right there. All right. And then I'm going to just chop, use my thing and chop down a tree. Seven to ten. So I've already, yeah, I mean, I, I think I chop it down in one fewer stroke there. All right. Now, if I want this, um, I can't unlock it. Right. It does take two points. Okay. So is there something that cost one point that I would want right now? The only thing I could get would be damage. I'm going to save up. Um, I'm going to tell you what I want. The florist can sell seeds as well. Um, what I want is to be able to gather resources as fast as possible. Okay, um, let me eat up. How much wood do I have? 67. So that should be enough to repair the bridge in here. I'm going to go do that. And it's getting dark. But I don't have to worry if I'm inside the cave. I am just poking around really fast around the uh, exterior of the cave. Just to see if I can find some extra food. Oh, what is this stuff? This is some kind of important site. Maybe like a teleporter or something. Can't use it right now.
All right, we'll go back in. Okay. And let's just immediately fix this up. There we go. And let me pull out my torch. And let's see if we can find some more um, metal. That's like our primary objective here. Okay, you can break these boxes. Interesting. I was wondering, like, they don't highlight with the sword. But I didn't know if I could break it anyway. Okay, we definitely want to light this up. So we can see a little bit better. There we go. I broke the barrel. We got some, like, gears and stuff. Sweet. All right, I need to be breaking stuff with more aplomb. Oh, I didn't even see this to light it. Oh, I don't have any coal. Okay. Well, we need some more coal. No, that doesn't even register. All right, let's keep going. What is over here? Um... Can I be sneaky and, like, jump up here? Yeah, sure, I can. Uh, there's, like, a blue flame over here. That's curious. Boy, I'm really having a, a tough time of finding any coal to light these things up. Here we go. Put my thing away there. And there's a bunch of coal for us. Okay, so we can now light some stuff up. Here's a bad guy. Let me try my cool thing. Yeah, my slash just did a number on that guy. Alright, this is something I can mine, but it looks just like it's only stone and that's it. So... Nothing super interesting there. Oh, this also appears to just be stone. Wow, this is quite a large area. Oh boy, it's a different guy. Okay. Um, Alright, we got him. And he gave us some kind of new material. Interesting. Alright, we want this one for sure. Let me put away my torch. Awesome. There it is. Alright, let me get my torch back out. I'm really trying to find metal, if I can. Let me jump down here. Oh, I took damage. Alright. I was wondering if you could take fall damage. I just kind of did a really fun jump. Here's metal. But here's a bad guy also. Got him. So this will help us upgrade... Our pickaxe. Build the fishing pole. Oh, that was a bunch. Good stuff. Okay, nothing that I see over here. I do want to light all of these that I can just to kind of, if nothing else, at least mark my progress. Oh, I got an achievement for rolling. How about that? You see there's that wooden bridge back here? I want to in inspect this area. So somebody built this instead of what? Using that? Interesting. Let me go ahead and light this up. What's this? Bad guy? It looks like a bad guy spawner. I broke it. I broke your bad guy machine. Get it out of here. No one wants that. We got some gears there. Fantastic. 
Um, oh, under the waterfall. Nice little staircase here. Cool. All right. Well, it looks like uh, there is a path leading down, which is super exciting. I'm going to get some more coal. And you can't get an interior map of this space, but we're doing really well. Let me go to my food. Do I have anything I can eat? I have pumpkin. Can you eat that? It'll keep you full for hours is what it claims. Um, oh, yeah, it will. Great. And we'll get into upgrading our tools, exploring the rest of this, moving in the florist, trying to build gardens, all kinds of awesome stuff in this game next time. Everyone, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Have an excellent day. Take care.